Have you ever seen a front four rear eight heavy electric truck with a gearbox? Most electric vehicles don't need transmissions at all, but in many heavy duty trucks, an AMT gearbox is standard. Today, let's find out why this design still exists. Let's begin with the chassis. This truck uses a double front axle design, very common for heavy duty vehicles. Instead of independent suspension, it relies on a rigid axle with leaf springs, which is stronger and more reliable under heavy loads. Now, look at this large flat platform in the center. That is the battery base, where the battery packs are mounted. Each pack usually has an energy capacity of 200 to 400 kilowatt hours. Together, they weigh several tons and make up almost 30% of the truck's total weight. The base not only supports the weight, but also integrates the cooling system and protection frame, so the batteries are safe and stable even on rough roads. At the very front, where a diesel engine used to be, you'll now find the electronic control unit and power electronics. This system manages how the battery delivers energy to the motor. Now, move to the middle section under the chassis. Here we can see the electric motor, directly connected to a gearbox. This truck uses an AMT transmission with four to six gears. It's very different from light electric trucks, which often use a simple E-axle with no gearbox at all. Why add a gearbox? Heavy trucks carry extreme loads and climb steep slopes. A gearbox helps the motor deliver higher torque at low speeds and keeps efficiency better on highways. It also reduces stress on the motor, so it doesn't overheat or waste too much energy. So here's the key question. If light trucks can use a simple E-axle, why do heavy electric trucks keep a gearbox? The answer lies in the balance of power, torque, and efficiency. Heavy-duty trucks face challenges that passenger cars don't. What do you think? Is a gearbox the future for all heavy EVs? Or will e-axle technology eventually replace it? Share your thoughts in the comments below.